Do you want to learn how to do advanced maneuvers on your horse? Well, stick around because I'm going to walk you through how to do a roll away with a 360 on top of it on a green colt. This is part two of my basic handle series. <laughs> Welcome back to Becky Amio Horse Training, and this is LR Blue Hawk Hancock I'm riding. He is a three-year-old Blue Roan quarter horse gelding raised by Lowing Ranch Quarter Horses. And I'm going to demonstrate to you today the roll away with a 360 on top of it. And we're going to work through it at a slow pace on a very green horse here. Now I'm starting off today working turn on the forehand, and I'm not going to go into too much detail on this turn on the forehand because I have a video I will link in the description box on how I get this turn on the forehand but I like to have this maneuver first before I do the next more complicated maneuver that we're going to talk about today. So we're going to start this maneuver at a walk and it's going to be a roll away with a 360 on top. And now let's identify to start with why we need this maneuver because it's not something that's called for in an upper level dressage pattern. It's not something that's called for in a reining pattern. So why would we need to teach this to our horse? Well, we want to teach our horse collection. We want to teach him how to use his body. We want to teach him how to isolate different parts of his body so that he is more effective at whatever we ask him to do. You know, people throw out terminology like my horse is athletic, my horse is talented, but, you know, they don't talk about how my horse has proper footwork. And what we're doing is teaching the proper footwork to make him more effective at whatever we want to do with him. So we start the roll like we're going to roll him and we just continue through the circle and we want him to stay on his hind end. Okay, he moves around a little bit. He doesn't just stand and pivot on that foot, but. Here's the thing, we're in the beginning stages right now. We're just trying to get him to move his shoulder through the turn. If we aren't getting good shoulder control, this is when we'll go back to the rail and just work rollaways again. Now in this case, I'm getting good shoulder control with this horse. He's keeping his hip in the center. It's okay if he takes a few steps backwards and we just keep on rotating him through that turn. I cue him a little bit with an outside leg here, and then I send him off again. Let's watch that in slow motion. All right, I give him the cue to stop, and he stops flat for me. He rocks his weight back to his hind end, taking a step backwards. It's okay in these beginning stages if they want to go backwards a couple of steps as I start to roll him. I start to bring him around like we're going to roll away and I just continue the bend in another 360. Now look at what this hind end is doing. It's staying underneath him. It's a roll away over the hocks. It's a 360 over the hocks. And now look at what my hands are doing here. My right hand is guiding in the turn. My left hand is the throttle. That's my collection rein. That's going to keep him back on that hind left. I continue to roll him in this 360 and then it's easy because we're going to use this rail as a little bit of a crutch here and now I'm going to cue him with my leg as we come around. This is why it's important to have that turn on the forehand cue because I'm putting this leg into him to keep control of that hind end and as soon as he starts to make that turn for me I release that leg and then send him off and encourage him to go faster out of it than he came into it. Isn't that awesome how he's moving so much faster out of these rolls already? We're encouraging him to speed up out of a turn. So whether you're turning a barrel or you're turning a cow on a fence or you're turning a cow in the pasture, you have a horse that's already engaged and using his hind end properly. What I really love about this exercise is the control that I start to get over the shoulders. These colts do not just come naturally balanced and they have to learn how to carry themselves and they have to learn how to carry a rider. And so by doing this, this teaches them the footwork 
while balancing themselves and the rider on their back, again, allowing them to be way more useful for whatever job you throw at them. Have you ever been on a young colt or, or a horse that just didn't rein very well? And when you tried to turn, the nose went toward the direction of the turn, but the shoulder didn't follow. In this case, we're teaching this horse to follow with his shoulder, engage his hind end, engage his core, and drive out effectively to do his job. So now we have a horse that's on call. He's waiting for us to give him the cue of where to go next, and he's learning where to put his feet. Now look at how nice he is in this role here. What I really want to bring emphasis to in this video is how I'm helping him with my hands and my feet and legs. He even wanted to come out of that and elope for a second there. Let's watch it in slow motion. I give him the cue, the halt command here, to stop and I immediately give the reins forward, say thank you for the stop, and then start the roll. That's how much I'm quickening him up already. That's why his feet are moving faster. I'm working faster in my commands. Now, if I was giving him these cues this fast to begin with, I would start to confuse him and it would be above his level of education. That's why we have to start slow. So what I wanna bring attention to here is my right hand, it, the elbow is back towards my side, my left rein is out and it's guiding him through the turn. Okay, and allowing them to step around and they really don't move much at all. If he wanted to move forward, I would throttle back with that right arm. Look at what I do here. I've got my right heel into him. The only thing I would change about this is I would put my heel down and put more calf on him. But I've got my weight kicked to the outside trying to help him through the turn. It opens up that door for him. He leaves it a trot and he even takes a bit of a lope stride here. Now isn't that neat? A horse that we started doing this with at a walk is already learning how to come out of these rolls at a lope or a canter or at a faster speed than he went into them. I put him right into another roll away with the 360 on top of it here, trying to quicken up his reaction time even more. It takes him a few strides before he comes out and takes a lope. That's okay. We'll take it and we'll just go on with him like We've been doing this his whole life. I'm going to put him in another one here. Roll away to the left with a 360 on top of it. Set him. Thank you. Start the turn. Roll him around. Keep him bent. Keep the throttle on and send him again. Let's watch it in slow motion again. I give him the cue for the halt. Stop. Hands forward. Thank you. Start him right into the turn to the roll to the rail, come around. Now, if you'll notice in this one, he takes less strides around. That's how quickly this roll comes through. And that's why he jumps out at a lope like he can. From right here, he'd been taking one more step and instead of taking that additional step, he comes out at a lope. And we're gonna stop it right there. I'm gonna call it good with that call it a day and let him quit. Now we're going to play game over and I hope you guys learned a lot from this session. You know, I hope that by doing this, it empowers you to take risks, take chances, try to learn this stuff with your horse. You know, they may never ask for these maneuvers in a dressage ring. They may never ask for these maneuvers in the roping pen or in the reining pen or in the cutting pen. But if you can do these maneuvers with your horse, you know, you'll be a little bit braver to go into those pens if that's something that you've always wanted to do is go show your horse because they'll never ask for something that difficult. And, you know, you might just surprise yourself with what you're able to do if you're willing to put some effort in and give it a try. I sure hope you guys got something out of this today. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Please leave me a comment down below if this helped you at all. Um, we're going to finish up here with a little backup and, and uh, we're going to call it a day. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Reek.